Hi, my name's Phil Webrook and welcome to your film on information governance. Now, for the first time today, you may have learnt what information governance is all about, but some of you may already be experts. Let's hope the trainer is, for one. Um, the reason I agreed to do this film is really, really simple. We're all busy people, living busy lives, doing busy jobs, and information governance is just one of those things that can be shoved to one side for someone else to do. But frankly, that's not good enough. Information governance is everyone's responsibility. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be part of those headlines in the papers around data loss. And I guess you don't too. Now, on a bit more of a lighter note, you're about to witness my acting ability for the very first time, so enjoy that. And while you're spotting those information governance mishaps, whether they're obvious or more subtle, remember the serious message behind the film. Sit back, watch intently, and enjoy. <laughs> Morning, Doctor. What's the code for this door again? It's 1648. Hi. Is there any chance you can fit me in with Dr. Harris this afternoon? I'll just have a look. What's your name? It's Rose Pierce. Rose Pierce. 445. Oh, that's lovely. Thank okay you. then. Bye bye. Bye. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Okay, I've got a new starter, so I've got to go. I know it's all work, isn't it? Work, work, work. Ciao. Hello, Bedan. How are you? Not too well. Nice to see you again. Cheers. Come on through again this way. Okay, thank you, Bedan. Last thing, just got to look for your CV. Haha. You must know Selena Peters, do you? Yeah, I work for that. She um, came for an interview last week, and you you must know about that. Oh, two seconds, two seconds. Just got to take this call. Hello, Rodney. You all right? How are you doing? I know, last week. It was amazing, wasn't it? Got to do it again this week again. I know, I didn't get any sleep. It was ridiculous. Okay, I've got to go, I've got to go. See you later. Bye. Sorry about that. Really important. I need to get that sorted. Um, okay, we're done. Are you ready to go meet the team? Yeah. Let's great. go then. Good. Okay, everyone, can I just have your attention for a sec? This is for Dad. He's going to be working with us for a while, so make him welcome. Um, if he's got any questions, can you just answer them for him? Great. Thank you. Take a seat. Okay, this is your desk, your computer. It's already on, but we just need to log in. Uh, uh, I don't have a login. Okay, um, just use mine for the moment, that'd be the best thing. Uh, it's T I N T I N 1. Just press that there. Good. Okay, and what should I do with these? Um, I think they were the person here before, so don't worry about those, just chuck them in the bin. I would. Okay. Do you want me to use a shredder? Um, no, don't worry. Just chuck them in the bin, that's great. Okay, I'll leave you to get on with that. Uh, if you've got any questions, just give us a shout, all right? Great, cheers. Thank you. But Dad, can you just do me a quick favour? These CDs need to go in the post tonight. It's really, really sure. urgent to get there, is it? All right. Yeah. Thank cheers. You. Thank you very much. But Dad, how are you getting on? Um, I've just got a problem. I can't get through this data. I can't get on the system. Okay. Ah, uh, there you go. That's a problem. You need a smart card. Um, I don't have one on me. Have you got yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Great, okay. This is Julie's, but we're all one office at the end of the day, so um, just wipe that in there. Hopefully. Yep, look, that does it. Is that alright? Yeah, cheers. Great, okay. Um, anything else? That's it. Thanks. Okay, fine. Okay, okay, so can I take your name, please? Jason Franklin. 
34 Wimborne Avenue, Sandgate. Yep, lovely. Right, what seems to be the problem? Yeah, that sounds nasty. It does sound like a sexually transmitted infection. Um, I've got an appointment with the doctor this afternoon. Oh, I see, you work in London. No problem, no problem. We've got a um, sexual health clinic and that runs on Tuesdays and Thursdays between six and nine. So you can drop in there after work. Is that all right? Okay, lovely. All right then, see you then. Bye bye. Hello. Hi. Hi, how can I help? Yeah, I've got an appointment with Dr. Harris at 4.45. Lovely. Can I take a name, please? Yes, it's Rose. Rosemary Pierce. Rosemary Pierce. Lovely. And date of birth, 1964. Yeah, that's right. Lovely. Would you like to take a seat in the waiting area? Okay, thank you. <coughs> Hello. Hi, Chris. How are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Nice How are you? you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. I'm good. Good. What can I do for you? Um, can I book an appointment to see Dr. Harris, please, on Thursday? <coughs> of course. Let me see what he's got available. 145. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Excellent. Yeah, perfect. Congratulations, by the way. Sorry? Your sister-in-law, she was in yesterday, the baby? Oh, I, I didn't, didn't know. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. You didn't hear it from me, all right? Okay, thanks anyway. See ya. Yes, I have Mr. Davis notes in front of me here. But yes. Come in. Come, hi, Rose. Well, you should have a copy of the test results. Yes, they were positive. Yes, for substance abuse. Well, I'll, I'll fax them to you after morning surgery and I'll give you a, a ring to discuss getting Mr. Davis into the clinic later this afternoon. Yeah? Okay, okay, thank you. Bye. Hi, Rose, how are you? I'm fine. Um, I just no. wondered, have you got my test results back because I need to get back to work? Right, yeah. There we go, let me get this up. Rosemary Pierce, 79 Castle Avenue, 17th of July 1964. And I see you've had a hysterectomy. Uh, no, wait a minute, that's the wrong birthday. And I haven't had a hysterectomy. Oh. It's 21st of April 1964. Oh, sorry about that. Um, just bear with me a moment. April 1964. Mm -hmm. The 21st of April 1964. Rosemary Pierce, that's with a C, not an S. Can I? Yep, certainly. Flat 25A, Buckland uh, House. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now, I see your hepatitis jab is overdue, oh, so yeah. we have to get you in for that. Um, but your urinary infection has seemed to almost cleared up. The antibiotics are working there. Um, so there seems to be no problems. Everything okay? Everything's fine, thank you, Doctor. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, then everything is okay. I don't actually need to see you anymore, but any more problems, don't hesitate to give us a call. Oh, thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you, goodbye. Right. Thank you, Rose. Oh, sorry. God, that sounded a bit awkward in there. But it sounds like you can go back to work now, which is great. Sorry, Doctor, have you nearly finished? I need want to get in and clean. Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. I'm just finishing. Okay, thank you. It's okay. Cheers, thanks for that. Thank you. You? Yes. Can you tell me how I can make a complaint, please? I'm 
off now. I might have a good weekend. OK, good night. It's about him. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, OK, no problems. Well, if we can just take some details on this form. And here's a leaflet that explains the complaints process for you to take away. OK. Thank you. And it's Rose Pierce with a C. Okay. Doc, Doc, can I just grab a lift? Yeah, I'll okay. Cheers. Let me just move these. Thanks for that, that's great. Oh, let me have a quick look at these. Ooh, really interesting. I didn't know Chris used to be a Christine. Funny old world, eh? OK, how do you rate my acting ability then? OK, let's move on. I hope you found the session really useful and enlightening. It is so important to watch those events unfold and understand the real importance of information governance. And don't walk away here today taking those bits of paper and filing them away. Put it into practice. It really is your responsibility and our responsibility to make information governance work. So enjoy the rest of the training, ask as many questions as you can, and thank you for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>